All right, I'm back. Had to do some zombie dog maintenance while I was gone. Ugh. Yeah, I'm talking about you, zombie dog. These people are all being mean to me. They're all being meanies. All right, so let me check back through chat real quick. I know there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. We got to figure out here. Um. So what's going on with the heel? Is it not letting you buy the heel thing? I don't remember setting limits on any of the purchases. Is the uh, is the duct tape healing one set to only once for some reason? It shouldn't be. You guys should be able to heal if you want to. Those contrary folks. Let me uh, let me check the uh, check the setup. You you under community channel points manage reward. Heal Vormithrax. Edit. No, I don't have a limit on it. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys' reaction when I scroll down through all the chat. I'm not seeing it set up with a limit, though, and I didn't intend there to be one. Um... Hmm. Now I'm seeing the other comments about the duct tape heal option not <laughs> being available. <laughs> Yeah, the settings command and the nightbot commands, there's only a couple that are working or correct right now because we're doing a special thing. I didn't want to just delete the old ones. Now, I've turned off treats for Zombie Dog this evening. He'll get his treats on my benefit or on my, uh, my duct tape this evening. Hey, there's a heal. See, that one got redeemed. Yeah, healing's up to you guys. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You guys haven't been using the, the, the chant yet. It doesn't count if you don't chant. <laughs> you gotta use the chant you gotta use the magic words for old school arcade people they know what that phrase means so who gets the reference anybody actually get that reference or am I the only really old person here is it just me can't just be me yeah good old gauntlet <clears throat> yeah okay boomers that's it saddle up boomers Get your 80s uh, trivia out. <laughs> that would be one. I don't think it actually said... Did it say the color? I think it, I think you're only allowed one, one per class. So it was just, Wizard needs food badly. Warrior needs food badly. <laughs> God, I got tired of hearing that. As I pumped quarter after quarter after quarter into that, uh, that game. Uh, was it Gen Xers? I, I don't know. The original Gauntlet arcade game? Well, maybe that doesn't go back to the 80s. Maybe that was 90s. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's kind of, the, one of the, the pretty much the only memorable catchphrase out of uh, the original Gauntlet. I'm talking the arcade Gauntlet that you would shove quarters into over and over again. Not any of the remakes and redos, the computer versions. Yeah, PS1? See, that doesn't count. <laughs> He might be pre-World War II. Holy crap. <laughs> I am not anywhere close to pre-World War II. Damn. Uh, no. <laughs> kind of sandwiched in between those, though. All right, so the heel's working. Looks like the heel's working. Uh, I don't know if, if somebody's keeping track, I hope. What is our counter up to? What, have I, what am I facing right now? 
Because um, the fence you see there is the fence to the mortuary. This is the mortuary building. So we're about to uh, make our first assault on the Necromancer. I have a heal available. All right, I got to use it right now. I can't hold it. So I'll use the heal. Um, then it's two for five for another one. All right. Let's apply the heal. Player. Edit player. Me. Hit points. What am I at? Uh, it's going to be five on the right arm and five on the torso. We'll just keep it fairly simple. 65 there. Sixty-seven there. All right, I have used my heal. Yeah, if Gala came out in eighty-five, that, that's that's what my memory was telling me. I was pretty sure it was eighties in the original arcade cabinet. That's definitely where I put uh, all of my money when I was uh, a wee youngin. I, I wasn't exactly a wee youngin in nineteen eighty-five, but <laughs> I was a little further along than a wee youngin. But, uh, yeah, me and my friends put a ton of quarters in the old gauntlet machines. <clears throat> All right, well, now that we got the uh, the reference sorted, <laughs> that's enough. It is a direct reference to the gauntlet arcade game from 1980s. Every time you were low on health, you got health by eating food, so the game would have this loud voice that would say wizard needs food badly warrior needs food badly and then your friend would go eat your food and you'd thump him in the side of the neck because uh he, he grabbed the food when you needed it so you just kind of reach over and give him a good thump <laughs> anybody who's heard it knows exactly what i'm talking about once they've been reminded <laughs> yeah that is true it also ratted out your friend <laughs> it did do that all right, that's one of the games that ate the most of my quarters, I remember. There's a few few games from the arcade uh, heyday in the 80s that uh, that chewed up quite a few of my, my quarters. That was one of the most memorable. All right, let's get moving. So, we got the healing off. You guys have a Kevlar Hulk that I'll have to uh, deal with, avoid something. We also got to figure out where we're going to put the Necromancer. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna go out into the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the front of the mortuary. Let's get this thing moving. Uh, I'm gonna kill yeah, if I kill this guy. Oh, God damn it! Why do they always come in packs? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna kill these guys. And if you want to raise them, more power to you. Oh, and I miss. There you go. Brutal Impale for 97. Flawless victory. Hundred and two. Alright, now we're talking. <laughs> Ultra kill. Yeah, what's even scarier is that that's the... Well, I mean, it's not just the blade. It's the blade plus CQB with the bionic combatives uh, martial arts style and decent stats. I mean, not super heroic, but fairly strong stats. But the scary thing is it's at no skill. I mean, whoa. What's with the yellow? Oh, oh, is it granting me these because of the bio combatives? I didn't realize it did that. Well, that makes that's that's different. Never mind. I actually do have skill. <laughs> I didn't realize CQB gave you automatic skill. You can see how long it's been since I've played a <laughs> a, a real character, a strong character. I'm usually toddling around in my uh, my degenerate uh, loser characters, so I haven't seen one of these power characters in a while. Cool. So, never mind. I, I thought I was doing all that with no skill, but uh, apparently I have I have pretty good skill too. You don't gain experience, so you never get stronger with it turned on. That's fine. Still a good trade off. All right. So, so who wants to spend duct tape, <laughs> or or spend uh, spend any precious precious resubs or bits to uh, raise these guys before I move on? Any takers? No takers. Going once, going twice, gone. Alright, I'm gonna keep moving. 
So, we has achieved the mortuary. Now we've got to decide where we're going to put the necro. I don't remember the mortuary's floor plan. Let's, uh, let's kill this guy. Kill a few locals. Give you guys somebody to mess with. It. Back behind me. Alright. So I guess what I'm going to say is... Uh, oh, crap. If I open that door and it's only a really teeny tiny room... That might put a zombie Kevlar Hulk like right on top of me. Uh, do you have to sub to spend? No, not at all. Well, uh, just I don't know. Does that doesn't control bits or anything? You don't have to be subbed for any of that stuff. But uh, you can spend duct tape points. That's why the duct tape uh, options are available for folks. Not everybody uh, has the option to uh, to help out the channel with uh, direct bits or subs. So, that's what the duct tape stuff is for. Uh, subbed at the front of the stream? Yeah, I've, I've lost track of who did what when, so... Subbed before we began? Who, who, who are we talking about? Are we still talking about... Uh... <laughs> I don't know all the ones we're talking about here. Yeah, I'm just deciding on the the neck, the, the Kevlar Hulk, I think. You want to spend your sub from earlier on one of those behind the car? Sure. Which which? It has to be something in my line of sight, so your choices are going to be... <laughs> tough Zombie? You could upgrade a Tough Zombie to a Brute? Uh, or there's two regular Zombies here. So, Tough Zombie to a Brute would probably be the highest level upgrade you can do on these guys at the moment. But there's not really anybody else around that you're going to be able to get much of an evolution out of either. So, I would say Tough Guy to the Brute would be the uh, the pick you probably want, Kawa. And I'll wait for your confirmation. Let's do a brute. All right, so right where the tough is currently at, we're going to go ahead and spawn. Spawn a monster, not skeletal brute. <laughs> zombie brute. All right, zombie brute in place. So now I'm gonna have a Hulk in front of me and I've got a zombie brute behind me. Now if I turn around and I go kill that brute, then he could be upgraded to uh, a Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's going to be an issue. Things like timing and uh, how you guys trigger things and how I notice, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. This is a work in progress. This is the first time we've tried this kind of a viewer interaction kind of thing. So uh, don't feel too harshly about the process. It's, uh, it's a work in progress. We and you will learn and uh, we'll get some standardized things down and um, it'll get smoother as we go along if we do this again in the future. It's all up to you guys. If you guys enjoy this kind of event, make sure you let me know, and uh, I will schedule them forward. Um, well, I agree. It would be awesome to have a Twitch API integrated. I'm not taking care of that. <laughs> no way. Not going to happen. Uh, I got I to gotta make a decision here. So how are we going to place this Necro? My, 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 my brain wants to put him in this room back here, but I don't know how big it is. I don't know the furniture arrangement. So we might have to put him in the viewing room here. So I'll... Uh, well, I got the I got this guy to deal with. Let's do this. Let's put him... Let's put him in this back corner. I, I'm gonna... I have to go open this door. I can't use the windows to spot him. I have to open this door, and then we'll have the Necro in the corner, and we'll have the Kevlar Hulk right in front of him. If that'll work for everybody. I don't want to do it over here. It's too small, and uh, yeah, I don't want to do that one. So let's, let's. Or we put him on the coffin. 
that's kind of appropriate. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll let me summon him on the coffin. Yeah, let's do it right here. I'll try to put him on the coffin. If it doesn't let me, I'll put him here. Then I'll put the Kevlar Hulk right here. Alright. So, but I gotta decide on this brute. Do I leave the brute behind me before I go in here? Yeah, you guys aren't up to the teleport part yet. If you if you want to do the teleport, just that's fine. Let me know. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and move. Let's let's force the issue. I am in. And I have opened the door, and we have now seen the position where he's going to be. So, Unless you guys teleport immediately, we're going to pretend that there's a Necromancer Master right here. That's where he's at. I don't want to summon him without if, if you guys are just going to teleport him. But um, that's where he's at right now. So my current situation is this. This hit point. This stamina. I've got my Bionic Combatives out. Um, <laughs> 2400. <laughs> um, that's, that's 100 short. Did you did you do a hundred earlier? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you very much, though, uh, Yellow Crescent. <laughs> hey, there's the other hundred. <laughs> well, all right. So now what do we do? <laughs> My hands are off. I'm waiting for all this to finish rolling in. So <laughs> I'll give it a sec. You guys kind of know the tactical situation. Alright, so officially the teleport has fired. And we have uh, we have Yellow Crescent's big donation to deal with. Hey Yellow, do you want to uh, fire it now or do you want to hold yours? That one I don't mind holding if you want to wait for a better opportunity. People dropping the big bucks can uh, can can do what they want at their leisure, pretty much. If you can feel free to really put the pain on me at a future time if you'd like. Not too hard to keep track of the folks that have uh, dropped the uh, the big donations. So your choice. When you want to drop something now, the necromancer is teleporting. So we'll, we'll solve that in a second. I just want to know if Yellow wants to uh, use his uh, his donations ability now, or do you want to hold it? He has the option with that donation to, uh, uh, now I've lost track. That's the, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> that's the five pack one. So you can summon anything with a zombie name. Does the Kevlar Hulk still get spawned? Um, summon a uh, Shocker Brute, Shocker Brute two to the east. <laughs> Damn it. All right, so we'll do that. We'll summon a shocker brute two to the east. No problem. Yeah, you guys can keep reviving it. You keep spending the, the, the donations for it. You can revive it as many times as you want. You do not want to see me su succeed at this challenge a single time. I'm hoping to finish this one up at least in the next four hours, this first attempt, so we can get one more going. Uh, maybe it'll go a little faster because we know what's going on. So, yeah, we're going to say the Kevlar Hulk is going to be here. Kevlar Hulk is still here, because it was already purchased, and it's already going to be in place. So, let's do that first. So, Kevlar Hulk into play. Right there is where I said he was going to be. So, we have a Kevlar Hulk, and then we also just got a Shocker Brute, which technically doesn't actually, or, yeah, Shocker Brute doesn't actually say Hulk in it. So it's it's kind of um it's kind of sidestepping my rule. <laughs> or it doesn't say zombie. It doesn't have the word zombie in it. Arr. So yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'll allow it though. It's along the same line. Nah nah, we'll do the shocker brute. It's fine. <clears throat> Oops. 
All right, so spawn monster, Shuggerroot. So I, I unwisely stepped into the Necromancer's trap. He was sitting here waiting for me. Now I have, you said how far? Two? Lost track how far you said. You, you, two to the east. All right, so right there is where it's going to go. All right. <clears throat> we has achieved peak... Peak Shaka Brute. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I knew you guys were saving all this stuff up. <laughs> uh... Give me a second. <laughs> oh, I wait to see what pain Ice Viper is going to bring. And yeah, the hype train is rolling. We're on level four. We've got the electrical juggernaut in already. Oh, well, no, not of the skeletal juggernaut side. There is not. Zombie. Oh, he, he took my... No, see, I, I told you guys you weren't allowed to use that against me. I, I specifically issued a retraction and uh, a cast a forget spell. <laughs> so you would forget about the wrestler. Zombie wrestler next to the shocker. When you say next to, do you mean to the right of? North of? Oh, no. Well, yeah, there's only one space. So he can either go here. He can't be directly adjacent. So he can't be in any of these spaces. So I can put him over here or I can put him right here. I'm going to assume right there is where you want him. All right. So spawn, monster, wrestler. <laughs> this, this is the one I fear the most, actually. If you haven't run into these guys, they are a slab of festering muscle the size of a well-toned bodybuilder. Some seems eager to strangle the life from you. They got really long grabby grab arms. They're the top of the grabber line. Really strong hold, and they can reach out and grab you from like three spaces away. So, wrestler, in game. This is my new tactical reality. <laughs> Have I missed anything? I have another heal. All right, so we've had our contrarians chime in with another heal. I'll apply that in a second. I'm going to wait and see if anybody else wants to dogpile Vormithrax. The, the, the Necromancer has already teleported, so he's safe. I have to extract myself from this situation, and then we'll figure out where the... Uh, well, we'll figure it out now, actually. Let's do that. Where's the Necromancer going to go? Anywhere within 10 spaces of the current location. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10 spaces away. So anything in a loop about like this. Anything in particular? And it can't be a wizard tower. <laughs> I'm not going into a wizard tower. So we've got uh, we got the small cemetery right there. Does that seem fair? Shall we force him to teleport between uh, locations uh, focused on death? Mortuaries, cemeteries, things like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to that cemetery. Cathedral? We can do the cathedral. <clears throat> There's another cemetery here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's technically eleven, but I'll allow it. That's the farthest away, the deepest in that we can go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, give me a second, Ice Viper. Damn. Really don't want me to uh, complete this. <laughs> See, what you don't know is this was my secret plan all along, was to run you guys out of cash and uh, duct tape on this first attempt. And then I can just steamroll you and pop you easy on the second attempt. <laughs> That's the plan. That was my nefarious... My nefarious plan. What are we up to? 290-something? I think we're close to the goal. Super, super close with all the uh, the very generous sub-donations that have been landing. Zombie Hulk north of the wrestler. <laughs> you don't want to box me in a little more? Put him, like, right here instead? Were it me, I would put him right here. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to give you guys advice, but uh, that's where I would put him. I'd put him right there in that spot. But I can put him right here if you'd like. Your choice. Door opening? 
Eh, door opening? Unless you say no, I'll put them right where I've got it currently sitting. See, this is, I could run into the Kevlar Hulk. Remember that. So, that's good. All right, that's where it's going. Uh, what is it you wanted? Uh, zombie Hulk. All right, another Hulk. <clears throat> Spawn! Spawn a monster! Zombie Hulk. Right there. That is our new tactical reality. <laughs> the uh, the Kevlar, Zom or Kevlar Hulk is looking like a real good dance partner right now. <laughs> Unless somebody chimes in to put something else in there, I'm going right by that zombie hole or that, that zombie Kevlar. <laughs> it's going to be run, hope the shock blast doesn't go off, and then either run this way and out the window or out that way. One of the two. I am absolutely going into the Kevlar room. <laughs> I'm just going to pray that I can get out of the reach of that wrestler zombie. If he latches onto me before I get away... That's going to be the rough. So if I were to place one, if another one landed, I would put it right there. That would, uh, I'm not sure what I would pick though. There's depending on the donation and what you've got a choice of. There'd be a, there'd be a few opportunities there. All right, let me roll back through here. I need to check chats and, uh, see if we've got everything accounted for and, I've uh, talked to the things I need to talk about. A lot of stuff in chat. <clears throat> All right, so we're at uh, no disable. Oh, I haven't applied my heal yet. Let me let me do that before I forget. So we got another heal. A few of our contrarians are uh, trying to keep me in the game here. Let's go with uh, torso and right or left leg. Torso, left leg. I'm just gonna split it to five and five again. So 72. And the leg is gonna be the more important to me, 71. All right, so we got the healing applied. Kevlar Hulk is done and uh, the teleport has already occurred. Oh, did we? Was there a decision? I, I'm sorry, I, I missed if there was a decision on the location of the teleport. Got distracted by the uh, the donations and the monster placements. Did we did we have the eleven away cemetery versus the cathedral? I think. Yeah, I'm caught up on my heels. I got that done. Uh, this cemetery here was the one I thought it's eleven away, but I'll allow it. That's just close enough. I want to stick to cemeteries, churches, cathedrals, things like that. I think that's the best one. All right, we're gonna do this far cemetery. No wizard tower. <laughs> no, no wizard tower. Not, not this time. I need some experience with wizard towers before I interact with those things. So we're gonna do this cemetery. That's that's the new location. So note, necro is here. All right, so, so we got the necro location. More remotes. Hype train. What did I get this time? I got the hype dragon three. <laughs> Jumping on the hype train last second. <laughs> you missed it right before it ended, huh? Yeah, timing's tricky sometimes, especially when we try to do this live stuff and when there's those kind of counters. There's always going to be a bit of a delay, so you just, on your guys' side, have to kind of get, get that uh, figured out. All right, I think I have accounted for everything in the current situation. We've had uh, multiple summons through uh, donations. We've got uh, a healing done. We've teleported the Necromancer already. So if I survive this situation here, then I got to go chase down the Necromancer at his new location. Hey there, Kelvin. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for the sub. And um, what, 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 what you going to do with me? No, not more. 
Oh, man. Another zombie wrestler down one south of the door. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, did yellow summon another one? Did I miss one? All right, so if I missed one, Yellow Crescent got a summon, and he wants uh, another zombie wrestler, one south of the door. All right. Keep me honest. It's, it's too hard for me to keep track of all this stuff. Spawning! Spawn monster wrestler. All right, right there. The new tactical reality. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, you think you got me boxed? Am I boxed? My dunsers? <laughs> I would hold off on healing anymore. <laughs> I think that might be wasted effort at this point. Uh... <laughs> if I get out of this, there's going to be some pretty unhappy donators. <laughs> That's the one thing I thought would be a little possibility of a problem, is people uh, donate, summon up a fun thing to kill me with, and I manage to, to eke out an escape. <laughs> uh, and then they kind of rail against the random situation. Oh, man. All right, we got some more subs rolling in, so make sure you guys uh, keep me honest on these things. <laughs> That's not the command. That's not... There we go. <laughs> so, the folks that are doing uh, the subs, that lets you revive and evolve a zombie. Um, all the ones around me immediate currently are max evolution. And you gotta remind me when you want me to use that ability. So, for anybody that's doing uh, the subs right now, the one sub, um, you get to revive and uh, upgrade a zombie. But um, it's gotta be a dead zombie. <laughs> it's gotta be a corpse. It's gotta be in my line of sight. So there's nothing... Oh, actually, there is one in my line of sight. There is something there. Hold on a second. Let me get the focus back on the game. We got corpses. So if you would like, there's a corpse right there, and there's a corpse right there. So those are standard zombies. I... What, what's the... What things evolve from standard zombies? Do the standard zombies evolve up into... What? I don't know if standard zombies will evolve up into something. They must. Some of the some of the stuff must come from them. Boomers and bloated. No, I think tough is the baseline, isn't it? Because you got toughs all over your game world when you first start. Technically everything. <laughs> all right, we'll just say any of the normal low level stuff. Any any of the uh, buffs, bloated, that kind of stuff. So, any of you guys that recently uh, did a, a single sub, um, you have the option right now to dogpile me. And you can uh, you can raise and then pick an evolution for either of these two zombies. So chime in here pretty quick. I need to get this moving again. Uh, yeah, that's true. The Hulk could become another Kevlar Hulk. No, it's they're they're different paths. The the Kevlar Hulk is the security guard line. So the Hulk is the top of the, the, the tough brute Hulk line. Kevlar Hulk is security guard, Kevlar brute, Hulk, or Kevlar Hulk. They're, they're different lines. So the Hulk can't go to Kevlar Hulk. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. If you wanna if you wanna upgrade a standard zombie to something that's semi special but still low level, perfectly fine. You want that early shock zombie, not the actual shock zombie, but the new one that's before it that I just can't remember the name of, or a, a tough, or um, a bloated, or any of that kind of stuff that then starts its own new chain. I'm perfectly fine with that. So, anybody else want to chime in? If you've already, yeah, the zapper zombie, that's the one. <laughs> I just can't remember that name. Anybody else? So, last call. If you've uh, recently done a sub, you've got the option to uh, use it, or you can hold it for a little while longer, but I need to try to roll these things off as they come in, so we don't keep accumulating things. Did we find out if 
Complete gloves? I did not. I didn't test it. <laughs> Upgrade the car stereo into a Skinnerbot? I like it. I like it. I don't have a point thing for that. <laughs> Basic into a long list? Yeah. Kind of a fit assumed. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're we're set right here then. Nothing else is dropping in, but we're gonna go with what we got right here. So, what am I gonna do? <laughs> it's basically gonna come down, I think, to getting grabbed. <laughs> it's it's all down to getting grabbed. That's pretty much what it is. So here's the situation for anybody that's joined in. This is what we're looking at. This is my bionic assassin named Vorm. And uh, the Necromancer's already teleported away safely. He uh, lured me into a trap and uh, dogpiled his minions on top of me. So they're uh, they're going to try to kill me right here while he hangs out in safety over at the uh, the nearby cemetery, 11 spaces away. I got to extract myself from this. Killing these is not necessary. If I do have to fight and I kill something, then yes, you guys can res and revive and so on and uh, put me down. Um, I don't think it'll take much to kill me. <laughs> I don't have armor, so the damage is going to be brutal when they start landing. All right. I don't have too many choices here, so we're going to turn on the Electroshock. I've got plenty of power for this short lifespan I'm going to have. I'll hold on the Adrenaline Pump for the moment. Or do I? Hmm... Yeah, <laughs> what I expect is after this result, you guys, when you know we got like a 30-day lead, you're going to save up points and uh, stuff, and then you're going to start combining your upgrades on me. <laughs> Turn, summon up a low-level guy, and then uh, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade on me. So I know there's strategies involved long-term. We'll, we'll figure them out. Now we're not doing this every five days. Once a month. Once a month at the most. All right. Um, to adrenaline pump or not to adrenaline pump? My life really depends on the next few seconds. Might be a good idea to actually pop this. I think I'll be dead before the negative effects hit. Let's wait. Let's wait. Well, the choice is still south. Well, is it? Is it? I could go to the potted plant. God, it's, it's, this terrain is not my friend either. <laughs> How many points? 200 and 100. Ooh, the chair is actually less than the potted plant. That puts me adjacent to the Hulk. That's going to get me super smashed into the wall. Where the potted plant is, if I'm lucky. This is going to take all my movement points to get onto the chair. I'm going to get shocked, I'm going to get super punched, and I'm going to get double grabbed by wrestler zombies. <laughs> so. Yeah, people, you, uh, I'm going to enforce it next time. I'm going to enforce the health thing next time. If I don't see Vorm needs food badly, it's not going to count. It's in the rules. It's in the, the description. You've got to actually chant the spell... Vorm needs food badly. <laughs> In the old gauntlet voice. So we're going to dis disallow anybody that uh, hits that button that doesn't also type in the uh, the chant. All right. So what do you think? What do you guys think? What are your opinions? Left and up to the chair in the hopes that I don't get smashed into the wall? And even if I do, and I'm not by a miracle grabbed, then I could step into the doorway? So it's either here, and then if I'm still here, or if I get punched and manage to stand back up, I'll still have the opportunity to open the door and try to get out this way. I don't know if this is an enclosed room or not. I want to say it's not. I want to say there's at least a window back here. There's a, a walkway of some kind. But I'm not 100% on what the room looks like back here. If there is an exit. Or it's south. Um, I guess the case could be made for north as well. But if, with south, at least I've got a chance to avoid the shock blast. 
I'm guaranteed to make it into this space right here. That's at least going to keep me from getting a super punch for a round. And if I get to here and this guy's still in and I get grabbed, a Hulk might do me the favor of super punching me through the window over here. I might end up in the corner wall, but he, uh, he, he might traject. The trajectory might get him to punt me right through the window into the yard. <laughs> I'm strongly tempted to try to set up a, uh, a a specific trajectory anticipating a super punch. Oh, it's not the first time I've managed to save myself by tactically uh, getting super punched. I've, I've done it a couple of times on camera. Where I planned it out and it, it actually kept me alive. This is one that's got a pretty serious possibility. I'm thinking of stepping up towards that Hulk, but I have to arrange the uh, the shot. I don't want to go into a door or a wall if I can avoid it. So I think I think south is my choice. South has got the best chance of lining me up properly for a punch through the window. It's got the most exits out of the room. It's got the least number of bad guys. And it gets me... Well, it may or may not get me out of direct line of sight of that shock blast. And I don't remember if I've expended any points from here. I don't remember if my movement points are reset. Which is actually a pretty big deal. I should have made sure before I started summoning stuff <laughs> that I hit the 5 key to reset my movement points. He's forgetting about the Brute outside? Uh, nah, I'm not too worried about the Brute. Yeah, he'd be bad. He, he can mess me up, but um, I got bigger problems. <laughs> I got much bigger problems. Yeah, it, it, the, by large part, it does come, to the, come down to he's grabbed, but like I said, I'm hoping if I go south and I'm grabbed that the Hulk will then step in and punch me out of the grab. See, 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 I have ideas in my brain. <laughs> I'm just trying to roll through the possibilities here and see which one might eke out the highest percentage chance of surviving this. <laughs> Go south, get yanked back by the other wrestler. Yes. <laughs> that is quality evil. That is quality evil right there. <laughs> Step south, have the north wrestler yank me back into the room. <laughs> well, yeah, we could have a tennis match going on. It could be uh, back and forth punches. <laughs> that would be entertaining. I think I'll only survive two of them. The other possibility is I get super punched through a wrestler and it, it yeets the wrestler. All right, I I've decided. We're going south. If I make it space one space south and I still have movement, I'll go... I don't know. I'll decide. All right, you guys ready? This is this one's already taken longer than it needed to. <laughs> Alright, here we go, everyone. All down to am I grabbed and by which wrestler? <laughs> South one. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, so much goodness! Shocker Brute to the rescue! Good job, Shocker Brute! <laughs> Here's what I have to say to all of you. Screw you monkeys! <laughs> Look at that! Oh. Yes! My plan worked perfectly! It wasn't the Hulk, it was the Shocker Brute that saved me. Now I'm not saved yet. I could still get grabbed. That that Unfortunately, the wrestler next to me is now my big worry. I might not get out of here still. <laughs> There's a possibility. Now, what I want you to not do... Wait, 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 wait. What I want you to not do... Carefully listen. Nobody put anything in those two windows. <laughs> do not summon anything south or west of me. Because <laughs> that would be just piling on. And you guys don't want to be those. You don't want to be a joiner. I have a heal. <laughs> I didn't take much damage, really. A little bit. Not as much as I was thinking I was gonna. <clears throat> no, it's, it's not a challenge. Pay your rent first. Don't anybody be donating uh, money they can't afford, please. Very appreciated, but uh, make sure you've got groceries in the refrigerator and you've got rent paid. <laughs> oh, perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. Now, like I said, I'm not home free yet. You might want to wait for a second. Because that, that wrestler's got like a three space range. He could still yank me. And I've only got 25 speed this round. So I could get uh, I could get yoinked again. 
because I'm going to try to move. They're going to get to move a bunch. Yeah, this, this could still go horribly wrong. So we're not done yet. We're not home yet. <laughs> I got a lucky break, but we're not out. All right, I got to go left one. Unless, unless somebody's got something going on. Am I missing something? Oh, I guess I have to do the heal. All right, let me do the heal while you guys let me know. Somebody tell me if I've missed somebody's opportunity to upgrade or summon while I do my healing. Player! Edit player! Me! Set hit points. Alright. Um, definitely the leg. Left leg. Up 5 to 73. Player! Edit player! Me! Hit points! Let's do the right arm. Right arm for 5 as well. Alright. My heal has been taken care of. Can you see the message log? Hell yeah, you can see the message log. So, uh, that's the tough zombie. That's the zombies I killed. That's where I started running. Yeah, it's just that right there. <laughs> that's all that happened. He shocked me. Then apparently he stepped forward and he super punched me. So he used his ability and uh, it all happened. That's the entire sequence right there to where I'm currently at. And then the uh, the wrestler's chasing me down. <clears throat> Are skeletal juggernauts an option? Uh, if you've got the big enough donation to summon one, sure. <laughs> it just depends on which donation thing you do. <clears throat> I'll wait. This is an important tactical situation. See if anybody else wants to dogpile in. I've got uh, two open windows that I'm aiming towards. Obviously, this is my first choice. I've got to uh, step left, step down and left. All right. <laughs> you guys are desperate not to let me out of this mortuary, I see. <laughs> uh, can we get a uh, moose salute for uh, middle management robot? Moose them if you got them. <laughs> that is enough for any damn thing you want, middle management. You can pick anything in the game that does not have an instant kill. So no guns, no mini new cacks, <laughs> nothing like that. Otherwise, you can pick anything in the game. I don't care what you pick. Just can't have a uh, ranged attack or, or an instant kill type of thing. So think about it and uh, let me know what you want to drop in there. That <laughs> spider queen. <laughs> God damn. That'd be that'd be rough. <laughs> Black Dragon? I got uh I have uh I have Magicalism on. I knew it was a possibility. Now, do I don't know enough of, I haven't fought dragons yet. Do they have a a ranged damage that could insta kill me? <clears throat> I believe the rule I set on that one was, uh, yeah, anything that does not have a ranged attack. So dragons have ranged attack. Spider Queen has ranged attack. Actually, I, I, uh, I can't remember if Spider, I, I don't remember actually getting adjacent to a Spider Queen, so I'm pretty sure they do. So those are out. I mean, anything in the game you want, just can't have a ranged attack. Your choice, though. Amusing ones are the friendly dog. <laughs> um... Which I'm still undecided. I don't know if the friendly dog has the ranged attack or if the upgrade has the ranged attack. Yeah, you could pick my mom. You could summon my mom. You could stick my mom in the window there. And you also cannot put him directly adjacent to me. So anything you want without ranged fire and it can't be directly adjacent anywhere else. <laughs> Flaming Eye would blind. That would be somewhat bad, but I've got enough vision that the map memory would uh, let me maneuver a bit still, unless something got in front of me. A lot of good choices. Take your time. Think about it. Very generous donation. I'll, uh, I'll wait. Feel free to take suggestions, but it's your choice. Anything with no ranged fire or instant kill and uh, wherever you want it that's not directly adjacent. <clears throat> A moose? Nah, moose wouldn't be helpful. They're not. Uh, they're not hostile. Do 
Gel jug by the window to your left. No, that's fine. It just can't be directly adjacent. So none of these spare squares are immediately around me. But if you want a scale jug right there, we can do that. So give me the yes, and I'll I'll drop a scale jug right in that spot. Now it still leaves that other window for me, but he's got long arms and he's gonna get right in my face. Alright, let's go with that. There we go, scale jug. Alright, game. Focus back. <clears throat> spawn, spawn monster, skeleton juggernauts. Whoops. Did it not let me? <laughs> I think the skull jug's too big to go into the window in that spot. I don't see a message. I'm wondering if it put it outside. Hmm, let's try this again. So, I can put it right there. That's the best I can do. I'm going to assume this is your preferred alternate location. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Gel Jug's in. The new arrangement. <clears throat> and that way he's kind of covering both windows. Alright. <laughs> So, we got the we got the first miracle, not escape. We didn't actually escape completely, but we got around a good portion of the roadblock. Anybody else want to dogpile in before I, I start making decisions and do some moving? I'm all caught up, right? I'm not missing anybody's uh, upgrade or summoning or anything like that. Oh yeah, Skell Jug collapses the roof. That'd be pretty funny. See, we, we, need, a naked, we need a giant naked mole rat. That's what we need. Remember, you are KD'd? What, uh, what does KD'd mean? What, what are you referring to? No disable. I already did my heals. The Hulk's been used. Teleport's fired off already. Oh, you mean knocked down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's our, uh, here's our situation. We're zapped. We're actually not knocked down currently. Well, yeah, that's from the zap. Speed is 25 because of the zap. That's normal. <clears throat> this next move, I'm only going to have 25 movement points. It's still going to occur, but a lot of this stuff is going to go really fast, and I'm probably going to get smacked around and maybe die right here in this next move. Very possible I could die right here, so. Um, I'm still going to move... How do I aim this so that the Kevlar Hulk punches me through the window and not into the wall? So I'm trying to line this guy so he can punt me through this window. <laughs> That's ideal. So I'm thinking of stepping diagonally down so that hopefully he comes down and then kicks me and maybe I'll go out a window. I'll probably end up hitting a wall, take a bunch of damage and get stunned and then I'll get dogpiled. But if I come straight south, I don't think it'll line up quite right. So yeah, so I think I'm going to come down and across. That might put me out of initial range of the, uh, the long arms of the skeletal juggernaut. And then I'm hoping that if the Hulk does come down, he, uh, he does me the favor of punting me right through the window out into the grass. That would be ideal. Can I pull it off twice? <laughs> can we can we arrange that two times in a row? Alright. Um, here's the character again for anybody curious what the hell is going on here. My zero dexterity character. <laughs> we are thoroughly shocked right now. We're zapped. That's why my speed is 25 and we have no dex. Electrocution from the shock. That wears off immediately, so it's only one round that that'll occur. But a lot's going to happen in that one round with only my 25 movement points. Because i got to pay for the full movement points with my next round's move. So they're at least going to move two two times. Which is going to be bad. Alright. So, that's the character. Nothing exciting here. No way am I pulling a gun out. That's not going to save me. This is a get the hell out of here kind of situation. Not a let's fight. I do have a grenade. <laughs> uh, that'd be fun to just activate and drop while they punch me out of range. And then it explodes right underneath them. That would be... That would be one for the record books and the highlight reels. All right, but nothing uh, too cool or interesting in the gear that I'm really going to be able to take advantage of, so it's all down to movement here. 
Adrenaline pump? Hi! Is now the time for the adrenaline pump? 